So water plus sulfide equals sulfuric acid. And that is the basic challenge here. So what, what to do with all this waste here? Well, there's a couple different ways, but what PolyMet would do, it would create a 900 acre toxic lake of this. And then it would take the tailings from the mining and create an earthen dam. And that it would have to last 500 years. The pilgrims came over in 1620. That's how long we're talking about. This is a catastrophe. Prove it first is just common sense legislation. It would say to the mining companies, okay, you know, Polymet, Twin Metals, Tamarack, if you want to do it here in Minnesota, you have to have one example. One example where this has been done for at least 10 years safely without polluting, and where that mine has been closed for 10 years without polluting before you can do it here. Minnesota does not have strict environmental regulations to carry out this kind of protection, and that's why we're here today. We know that over 57% of northern Minnesotans support Prove It First. Over 60% of Minnesotans statewide support Prove It First. We know 61% agree that mining uh, in areas that risk polluting the BWCA should be prohibited. We know that we want to do this, and as an elected official, it's my job and our job in the legislature here to carry out the will of the people. And if that's not what we're doing, why are we here? We do not have to be the lab rats of this country, and our waters don't have to be either. That's why you're here. Because you have a sense of political efficacy, you have a sense of civic engagement, you have a sense of, of civic virtue, and you are here because you want to leave this world a better place than you found it. Thank you for being here today. All you're asking is prove it before you do it. It's that very simple. We've gone from having four supporters uh, in 2018, we now have 73 legislative supporters of Prove It First. I come here today as a, as a miner. Some of the tailings ponds were leaking 50 years ago. They're still leaking today. The mining companies are all gone. The taxpayers of Minnesota are paying to fix up that high water pit. I believe we've been patient long enough. It's time to clean up our mining industry. It's time to prove it first.